today we'll talk about the another part of urine analysis that is chemical test in chemical test it includes sugar acetone protein examination for albumin for benz jones protein bile salt bile pigment urobilinogen examination sodium potassium chloride are usually not done they are done in a selective cases like sodium imbalance potassium imbalance creatinine clearance is usually done to find out the uh, kidney stage of ckd occult blood examination microalbumin urea chyle urea and urine albumin creatinine ratio these are the chemical tests which are being done out of this sugar acetone protein that is albumin not benz jones protein bile salt bile pigments and urobilinogen can be estimated by euro strip now this is a euro strip which will estimate those particular things by a chemical test it will not estimate this is ph and specific gravity which are the physical property of urine now as far as the examination is concerned in a normal person albumin is always absent sugar is always absent we call glucose is absent and even bile salt bile pigment and urobilinogens are absent while chloride sodium potassium calcium phosphorus ammonia etc are being done only in case of an imbalance of those particular substances now bile salt is being examined by a hay sulfur flower test and this is the method by which you estimate the presence of bile salt in urine you sprinkle the sulfur uh, sulfur powder on the top of the urine and if it settles down at the bottom the uh, bile salts are present bile pigment can be done by euro stick and it will show you whether it is weak negative weak moderate or strongly positive and it is detected if there is a presence of bilirubin bilirubin or urobilinogen while you can do a test we call fauchet test or harrison spot test this is the procedure by which you can do the fauchet test then there is another test called as a gmelin test which is done by using nitric ex nitric acid then there is another test which we call as a iodine test usually it is not done then for detecting urobilinogen there is a test called as a ehrlich test in which the reagent ehrlich is taken 5 ml of urine and you add 0.5 ml of ehrlich reagent and look for the presence of urobilinogen urobilinogen will be strongly positive in case of a hemolytic jaundice and in a early stage of hepatitis we call hepatocellular jaundice it will be totally absent in case of an obstructive jaundice so that is alice test so urobilinogen will be present in hemolytic jaundice and in case of a liver involvement we call hepatocellular jaundice but totally absent in case of obstructive jaundice occult blood occult blood can be also detected by uh, examining by euro stick if there are more than 5 rbc plus per high power field it will detect that and by euro stick you can detect in a small traces moderate quantity it will be because of presence of hemolyzed blood also and it can detect weak moderate or strongly positive and it can detect red blood cells hemoglobin urea or myoglobin urea but by euro stick you cannot differentiate between rbc hemoglobin urea and myoglobin urea that can be differentiated only by doing a spectrophotometry this is benzidine test this is the procedure
So I end here.